What is up my fellow creepers and things that go bump in the night? Welcome back to yet another episode of Creature of the Night. Happy holidays guys. Uh, let's run right into this. And I just said it. The Hulu original 2020. Run. What's wrong? Sweetheart? Get me out of there! I don't really know if uh, this uh, particular film was based off of true events, but we have heard from past and you know in the news or whatever and they have made other like I guess like a uh, movies based off of those actual events of kids not, not kids uh, parents tricking their kids thinking that they're making them think that they're sick to get sympathy to get money uh, basically just so they can all around control them and you know keep them from, keep them from leaving the home leaving the nest you know uh, I guess it just goes with those like that fear of being left alone uh, for your entire life, I guess, that parents have abandonment issues, I don't know. Um, this is one of those movies uh, that did it for sure. Uh, we, we see this mother that, uh, it's kind of misleading how it, we uh, go into it, watching it, you know, uh, I thought I kind of had it figured out and I did get the little twist, but I, I kind of saw it coming towards the end, you know, as the movie was going on, um, that she gives birth to a baby and it's a premature baby. And then next thing we know, boom, it shoots to the future to where, or like the present day, that she's all grown up. She's in a wheelchair. She's actually really, really smart, but she's homeschooled. She has a lot of uh, health issues. She has to take a lot of vitamins. Um, and as this play is going out, like she's a, uh, the reoccurring thing is that she's waiting for a letter from uh, either a specific college or just any college in general that she applies to. And she's not hearing anything and the more she digs up and the more she starts finding out and investigating the pills that she's taking she finds out that you know the me the medicines that she is taking is not meant for her uh, at first we uh, we are misled to uh, believe that it's actually for her mother like maybe something's wrong with her mom and she's just giving it to her daughter so that way you know whatever uh whatever effects of these pills are uh, it's like it's supposed to do for the mother is doing it for the the little girl Come to find out she's actually ingesting pills meant for uh, dogs, for animals. Now, uh, I forget in particular what it, do what it does for animals, but I know, I was I remember reading that if a human ingests it, it could make your legs go numb. So maybe it's something for like animals where like it can relieve you of pain, but it can make it feel like you cannot walk or completely, you know, immobilizes your legs. So boom, explains why she's a in a wheelchair. And we keep getting cuts back and forth between the past and we actually find out that she, her premature baby did not make it. So uh, who, is this, who is this little girl that she has in her house and what, what are we meant to believe? And it turns out she actually... <laughs> First off, I, I've been around the medical fields my entire life. My mother's an RN. My sister, as last I checked, is going to school to become a plastic surgeon. And growing up, I did have a lot of health issues as well. And so I was in and out of hospitals for my entire life. So so saying that in the maternity ward that there's not a nurse on scene 24 hours a day, every second of, of the day, like, is complete bullshit. Just want to point that out. But she's actually just looking at the maternity ward, the newborn babies, and she picks out a baby that she wants and takes it home. And, you know, completely, you know brainwashes her to think that she's immobilized and she is the, i'm your mother whatever but you know again as a, as the a daughter is going through and discovering all this she's starting to find all the letters the acceptance letters of her of the colleges that she's been applying to she finds out that you know who her real real parents are this says the name it has a picture of who might be her real parents um and that her mom is actually i is actually a lot smarter too than uh, is led because uh, when she's locked down in the basement after trying to escape several times she sees formulas and stuff like that different medications that you can mix so I guess you know maybe fool the brain and keep the na the legs numb and keep like kind of mimic certain symptoms of health issues that are out there you know mixing the right combinations yeah and we've seen that throughout uh, certain uh, shows that have uh, have to do with like medical I know for like for me uh, criminal minds I remember that a couple was keeping these young ladies hostage because the mother couldn't give birth anymore and the mother was actually a 
cancer patient, so she had access to certain medications to where she would mix and, and induce labor, early labor. So yeah, so you know, just mixing the right kind of cocktail together can can have any kind of effect on the body, at the mind, or whatever you know your target is of the body. So you know, as she finally you know fights and frees herself and gets hold of, uh, hold of the author authorities, gets let out, grows up. And we find out has a daughter or uh, has a kid of her own is married uh and her mother the her the one acting as her mother is now locked up in i guess in a mental institution or it looks like a prison but maybe in the medical ward because she is like bedridden she cannot speak and it seems like she's just out of it because when she tried to attempt to the one final attempt to escape from the hospital before they revive her out of her coma to like, you know, let her, to talk to her and get to know what the hell's going on. She tries to make an escape and they ended up shooting her. And she's, I guess she, she fell down the stairs, so I guess that crippled her. And the little girl is still making trips, you know, visiting her, you know, letting her know what's going on in her everyday life. You know, the fact that she has a kid, the fact that she's married. And I guess she did meet her actual parents because so, she talks about that her kid enjoys time with her grandparents and stuff like that. It was very, very interesting. But that's when we kind of see the a turn in the main character to where she i don't know if it would be a right thing i don't know you know revenge is never a good thing you know they always say if you want to take revenge dig two graves one for you uh, one for the person you're going after and one for you because you know revenge never ends well but <laughs> she's she's sneaking in she's uh she's not sneaking in she's uh she's going in and talking to her mother still calls her, her mother because you know she grew up in like that you took care of me, I guess, you know, just that bomb, maybe that stock, that Stockholm Syndrome, or, uh, yeah, or whatever, that, you know, she goes and feeds uh, her mother the same pills that was being fed to her for numbness, but I, this too, I don't know if it's an all-around numbness or what, because it looks like she has trouble speaking, and amongst other things, like, something's definitely wrong, she's not... She's mal she looks very malnourished when you see her in the bed. So, you know, again, it goes with that saying to you, you know, karma's a bitch. You know, whatever you whatever you put out there is going to come back to you tenfold. Now, is it, do I technically agree with it? No, but I'm kind of happy that it happened because everything that she put her through and everything that she wanted to do, even to her, to how she ended up in the hospital, to have a chance to explain her story, what was going on, she had to ingest poison and damn near fucking kill herself. So... Uh, it was a lot. It was an emotional roller coaster. I just remember being at the edge of my seat, wondering what the hell is going on, who is who, what is happening, why can't she walk, what is this medication that she's investigating, what is she ingesting, what really is going on. Dude, I give it two thumbs up, 10 out of 10 for sure. It is on Hulu. I did. I do believe I said that at the beginning. Uh, it's a Hulu original, guys. Go, so go check it out. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know what you thought below about this video in the comments. Please share, 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 like, comment, subscribe my, uh, to my videos. Guys, thank you so much. I am at 219, and that was the quickest I've ever got to, you know, passing. Tw uh, once getting to 200, now passing it, I'm in shock. I can't believe it. Thank you for everybody who's been helping me. Thank you for everybody who's been consistently watching my videos, liking, and subscribing. And, guys, yeah, thank you just so much. Uh, I appreciate it, and I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe. Please hit that little bell to let you know every time I upload so you can keep up to date with me, guys. Again, I am Toxin. And always remember, if you're not sinning, you're not having fun. Beware the moon, guys.